You're all very welcome to Mass on Easter Sunday. I'm offering this Mass for all of you who are praying with us this week. So now please call to mind the personal and family intentions that you want to pray for. And please include in your prayers the people of Ukraine. And as we ask God to help us through next week, we thank him for the favours of the past week. So please call some of them to mind now and thank God for them at this Mass. And with these thoughts in mind, we begin our Mass together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves for this celebration, let's call to mind our personal faults and failings and ask the Lord to forgive us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. <clears throat> we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who on this day through your only begotten Son, has conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. As you listen to the readings, please pick out a phrase or a thought for yourself for the coming week. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth and how he began in Galilee after John had been pre preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who had fallen into the power of the devil. Now I and those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself, and also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God had chosen beforehand. Now we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead. And he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and to tell them that God has appointed him to judge everyone, alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness, that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In response to the psalm, this day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. This day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love has no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. This day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. The Lord's right hand has triumphed, his right hand, hand raised me up. I shall not die, I shall live and recount his deeds. This day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. The stone that the builders reje rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. 
Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things, not on the things that are on the earth, because you have died, and now the life you have is hidden with Christ and God. But when Christ is revealed, and he is your life, you too will be revealed in all your glory with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Let us celebrate the feast then in the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. It was very early on the first day of the week and still dark when Mary of Magdala came to the tomb. She saw that the stone had been moved away from the tomb and came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved. They've taken the Lord out of the tomb, she said, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter set out with the other disciple to go to the tomb. They ran together, but the other disciple, running faster than Peter, reached the tomb first. He bent down and saw the linen cloths lying on the ground, but did not go in. Simon Peter, who was following, now came up, went right into the tomb, saw the linen cloths on the ground, and also the cloth that had been over his head. This was with the linen cloth rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in. He saw and he believed. Till this moment, they had failed to understand the teaching of Scripture that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us reflect for a moment on the phrase that we've chosen for ourselves this week. And the phrase I chose is, this day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Now let us profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now, let us pray for Pope Francis and the bishops of our own diocese. We pray also for the people and the priests of our own parishes. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the dead and for those who grieve for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Loving God, we continue to pray for the people of the Ukraine for all those suffering or afraid, that you will be close to them and protect them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the sick and for those who care for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we pray our own private intentions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we offer these prayers for God our Father, trusting that what we ask in faith, we will receive to the full through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. In the midst of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and content heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. And let us pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exultant with Easter gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this day above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you've created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. My Lord and my God. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and his ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Luke, we pray on the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. 
May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servants, Francis, our Pope, Eamon, Michael, and Sean, our bishops, the order of bishops, the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Lord, listen graciously to the prayers of these people who are praying with us on the internet this week. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good, through him and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, let us pray together in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Now, let us pray for peace. We pray for peace in all families but especially those families whose peace has been disturbed by the coronavirus, by other serious illness, or by death. And we pray also for peace for the people of Ukraine. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May this mingling in the body, blood, Lord Almost Jesus God, Christ, bring take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Be receiving your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment or condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for us, protect the mind and body and the healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. The communion antiphon today is Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord, look upon your church 
with unfailing love and favor, so that, renewed by these Easter mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family and friends. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'd just like to thank you all for praying with us this Easter Sunday. And a special thank you to those who helped us with the Mass here in the Ordinary by doing the readings, the prayers and the responses. Thank you, Emma, for preparing the altar and for the daffodils. Next week, we hope that our Mass will be available from Wednesday morning until Tuesday night. And that Mass will be the Mass for the first Sunday after Easter, which is now known as Divine Mercy Sunday. I hope this new arrangement will be suitable for those who are not yet prepared to return to their usual Sunday Mass. And for those who are returning to the Sunday Mass, we hope that you will keep us in your prayers as well, and we will keep you in ours as well. With, if the Mass does not appear on your uh, screen, whatever way you receive it, if the Mass does not appear on your screen on Wednesday or Thursday, then I think you should make your own arrangements for Mass for the following Sunday. We had problems with this Mass today, and I hope it goes out all right for Easter Sunday. But we are having difficulties with the computer again, so it should be available from Wednesday onwards next week. So for now, wish you all a very happy Easter, and may God bless and keep you safe. And always remember the message from this altar, from John the Evangelist and from Father Quigley, God loves you. And now we pray for the Pope's intentions and for our own personal intentions. That's it. That's it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 